What's good everyone, it's your boy Santo G, back at it, you already know, spreading unity, prosperity, and respect, above all, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, that way you're notified when I drop future content, which is every day, 7 in the morning, and at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, if for some reason, it's a little bit later, or the time's a little bit off, it's because YouTube is messing with me and I'm waiting for them to clear the video so they could show ads and your boy could get paid. So before we get into this video, man, I just want to shout out Killer Kush. If you guys want to go into the dispensaries, check them out on Instagram. And in their bio, they have all their locations. If you guys want some bombs all delivered to you, get at my good people at Cali Herbs Los Angeles. That's Cali Herbs Official on Instagram. And if you guys want some exotic pups, some exotic Frenchies, top of the line, shots up to date, paperwork and everything. Talking about a pup that's going to stay a little bully, a little Frenchie. It's not going to grow big. Get on my good people at Frenchie Row Kennels, man. So today, I just wanted to sit back and chop it up with you guys. I had to put a little thumbnail pretty much to just get people in shout out the little homie that inspired this video man which is the little homie from Las Vegas one of my subscribers tapped into my Instagram we were talking back and forth and he was just saying how my content helped him the way he looked at life and just lacing them up and to be honest that's what I strive for even when I tell stories I say, look, this is how you can avoid being in this situation, or if you're in this situation, this is how you handle it to the best of your ability, like a straight G. So, what I wanted to get at is, a lot of people think that being a G means that you got to be out here vandalizing, terrorizing people and stuff like that, and it's not, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's get with the times. I wish an older homie would have sat me down and told me, like, hey, little homie straight up worry about your studies and I mean like math your history your history and stuff like that science because science does play a lot in this world there's certain subjects man that you do need to focus on so worry on your school worry about your family and worry about stacking your paper man the rest trust me the rest is just bullshit that's gonna lead you to catch stupid cases that's gonna mess up your future honestly if someone would have told me that if I would have got caught for doing what I did going through what I went through now as an adult I don't have the right to bear arms if you go through your whole teenage years till you get an adult without getting in trouble you have the right to file so you could be a registered owner and you could be have the right to carry at least in your home you know what I'm saying anybody tries to run up on you in your house or anything at least you know you're protected and you have every right it's registered you could go and it's like you a kid in the candy store man picking out whatever you want you know what I'm saying I'm not just a different perspective you know what I mean trying to motivate people man to stay out of trouble cuz if I I wanted to, I can't even go to a shooting range, just go have fun, you know what I mean, go let off, nothing, you know what I mean, because of my past, my record, my two strikes and all that, it prohibits me from even doing that, so that's out the window, you know what I'm saying, so I just want to lace you guys up, man, that's what this video is about, I don't want people to get the wrong idea, you know what I'm saying, I just want to lace you guys up on how to be a G man, but with class, with dignity doesn't mean that you need to be out here partying every day and all that you know what I'm saying that's why I just wanted to point that out too this right here this right here is a luxury it's not a necessity this right here this butt is a luxury it's not a necessity you know what I'm saying I only do this as far as I never hardly drink just started recently because I know that there's a lot of my subscribers every day they chill and they drink one but it's when tell them in the comments it's when when you guys get out of work 
the best feeling ever in the world, man. When you get out of work, you just done clocked out. You know you're going to get paid for the day. You know you got money coming. So now you can just, uh, you hear that? Shh. Just, uh, salud. Cheers, everyone. You know what I mean? All my hardworking people out there, whether you're working a nine to five or you're dug in hustling, as long as you're making that paper, man, and you're not out there terrorizing or vandalizing people. You know what I'm saying? Salud. That's what I want to inspire. How you guys stay blessed, stay motivated, man, and learn how to become real G's with dignity and class, man. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to uphold your people. We need to teach each other how to be knowledgeable, man. Knowledgeable. If anything, the real power is within politics. If we could get our children to raise them instead of thinking you're working a nine to five and you're working for somebody, like, look, man, when you get older, open your own business. Think like that. Think like business owners. Or be like, look, get into politics. You know what I mean? Be a congressman. Be a congresswoman. Get into them type of positions in life. That's where we're going to start making changes, not only in our cities, but as a whole. That's just my point of view, man. If I had a choice, as far as if I could go back, I think I would get into Congress, honestly. I think I would get into Congress. I would focus on that. Because all that is, is whoever has the better mouthpiece, let's be real. All they do is they get up there, it's like, <clears throat> they train you in school. Class presidents and all that, you know how they get on there. Oh, if I'm your class president, I'm going to make sure that we get better stuff in the vending machines. Or if they don't have vending machines, that we get better vent that we get vending machines. I'm going to promise the student body this, 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 and that. Same thing. As you get older and you grow up. It just becomes a bigger pool that you're dealing with. Now you're dealing with straight cities. You're dealing with countries and stuff like that. That's just my point of view. So if we could get the youth to think like that bigger and better. I think, man, that we could really make a difference. That's just my point of view. I wanted to just, all you little homies, man, anybody watching my videos, it's all right to work a nine to five, man. Meanwhile, you figure out what you're going to do. Work a nine to five, as soon as you clock out, clock into your hustle, your side, whatever you got going on. Like for instance, me, my side will be this YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm clocking into work. Whenever I'm not clocked into work and I'm clocked out, I'm clocked in here. I'm recording. You know what I'm saying? So focus on whatever you guys like doing. Whatever it is, man. You could be a designer. I just seen some shit, right? On Instagram, I was going through it. There was a little kid couldn't have been what like 10 12 years old he got a internship at Louis V because he did a sketch and the sketches is, is not that good I mean you could kind of see a little detail but it's not that good you could tell it's a little kid but he at least had some sort of vision he did the bottom everything little blueprint and they noticed that and they're like hey look boom here goes internship so you know what I mean Anybody can do it. It's all about putting your mind to it. If you want to do something in life, putting your mind to it, man, and just following through. A lot of times we think we can and all that. We get a little confident, but we don't follow through. It's all about following through. The sky is the limit, man. And I think that's the best advice I could give to any youngsters watching, man. I understand we all go through hard times and stuff like that. But... If you want to indulge and stuff like that, just make sure that you earn it. And you earn it by putting in work, either a nine to five, hustling, whatever. You know what I mean? You can't be only having five dollars in your pocket and you use the last five dollars in your pocket to get a beer and some blunts or a couple of singles. You know what I mean? I've been there. You know what I mean? I ain't knocking it. I've been there. That's how I know. You only have five dollars, you get a brew, like fuck, I ain't even got enough fuck it, I'm going to go get, I know over here they sell singles, you know what I mean, we need to stop that mentality, we need to stop that, you know what I mean, get your grind on, get up, hustle, ain't nobody going to do it for you, you know what I'm saying, unity, prosperity and respect, above all, it's your boy Santo G, I appreciate you guys rocking with me man, 
Shout out Kill Kush. Get at them on IG. Shout out Cali Herbs Los Angeles. Get at them on IG as well at Cali Herbs Official. And if you want a uh, top of the line Frenchie, get at my good people at Frenchie Road Kennels, man. I appreciate y'all. Let's get.